There's the trusty Timex Iron Man. And there is Jeff. And Laura Marina, you are going to like this, because guess what kind it is. That's right, Schindler MT. Is it going to be a nice one or a piece of junk? Let's find out. Have you ridden this before? Yes. Is this one nice or pretty crappy? Kind of in between. Schindler MTs are usually pretty bad. I mean, they just don't hold up. They seem to be maintaining them pretty well. Schindler MTs, just for, MT and RT just don't hold up very well. They were made right after the Westinghouse buyout. This thing sure is slow. Yeah, it takes a while to level a basement as well. Not quite like that U.S. elevator. <laughs> I've never in my life been in an elevator that took that long to level. And here it is. That one seriously had something wrong with it. Ding. My soft ding. Well, we might have a nice motor. Ready to hear it? Three? Mm -hmm. Let's listen to that motor. Oh, look at that. Here we go, listen. Did somebody's batteries go dead? <laughs> womp, womp, womp. I thought an epic fail. Four on the number, three on the buttons. The Atlanta airport has that same problem. Do you edit your videos? Um, I haven't really taken it after. All right, are you recording <laughs> again? Yeah, one way or the other. And we are... We, um, can take, we can take another trip if you want. I'll just kind of see you get together somehow. Get my cab yeah. view. This is not a bad elevator at all, but I think a Dover Impulse is a better quality. Watch the button go out. Then we're going to take forever to level. See, it says B on the button, this one up there. 2,500 pound capacity. There's your emergency button right there. Kind of creaky. The phone, yeah, this, like I said, Schindler's are not that great. So this elevator is not bad, but it's by no means good. And we're in a deserted hallway down here. And there it goes. You gotta like the equilateral lantern. Oh, yeah, the lantern's nice. Now, what did you think about that one? Meh. So-so. 